Now the Empire's gonna want that Star Destroyer back. Good. Let's see them try and take it. You know, back home, after the Empire invaded Mimbin, we stole an armored transport hauler full of scout walkers. When the Empire came looking for them, we just turned the walkers against them. Had a real good time. I'm guessing the Commander has something similar in mind for this Star Destroyer, right? Otherwise, what's the point? At least Wedge picked the right team for the job, huh? Those slackers in Alphabet Squadron would still be fapping around at Yavin. <laughs> Enough yapping. Time to check with the Commander and see what's next. Not now, Frisk. I'll answer your questions once the Star Destroyer has been delivered safely. Delivered where? We risked our tails to get that Star Destroyer. And you can't even tell us where we're going? It's not my call. Besides, I'd be risking a lot of lives if I shared too much too soon. <sighs> you hearing this? After all we did for Project Starhawk. Listen, all I can tell you is the basics. Linden, our soldiers on the Star Destroyer Victorum just sent to Code Yellow. Now? Damn. Call in Vanguard for immediate briefing. Ah, heck. It was just getting good. We have an emergency. The Star Destroyer you captured has unexpectedly fallen out of the hyperspace behind enemy lines. Our troops are repairing the hyperdrive as quickly as possible, but you need to buy them some time. There's an Imperial fleet advancing toward the Star Destroyer Victorum. I want A-wings intercepting enemy fighters. The rest of Vanguard will provide defense and support. I know Imperial protocol better than most. I have no doubt the Empire will disable the Victorum with ion weapons before sending shuttles to recapture it. Stop them at all costs. The Empire must not reclaim the Victorum. Once the Star Destroyer's hyperdrive is operational, cover its escape so it can jump to safety. I'll send you rendezvous coordinates when the time is right. This is my fault. I underestimated the repairs. Now the whole project's at risk. Hyperdrive's break, Otto. It's not your fault. They should have suggested you send more engineers to Yavin. Then this never would have happened. It's fine. Vanguard is ready. They'll get there in time. Won't you? I know, I know. But I'll reach out to Hosni and Prime and requisition a few more engineers. Just in case. Get moving, pilot. I remember the first time I was trapped behind enemy lines. It was the Battle of Mimbin, the first year of the Clone Wars. The Separatists had dropped a battalion of B-2 droids on the Nan Flatlands, cutting us off from the 224th Pawn Division. A thunderstorm was jamming communications, so I took a skyhopper to rendezvous with the 224, hoping to get some reinforcements. It didn't go well. I was halfway across the flatlands when those droids shot me down. And believe me, you have never seen a finer crash landing. The only problem was my arm got caught in some wreckage. Figured I'd rather live my life with one arm than sit around and wait for those droids to find me. Besides, you only need one hand to carry a blaster, right? I dragged myself out of those flatlands with only one arm and a seriously sour disposition. I guarantee those clone boys had never seen anything like me before, but they fixed me up. Then they helped us drive those blasted droids right off planet. If only I'd known that three years later, those clones would be replaced by stormtroopers. But anyway, we should head back to the hangar. The Victorum needs us. We were just talking about what happened to the Victorum, and Keo had one of those... Uh, what do you call them? It's just a hunch, Frisk, that's all. So what do you think happened? I feel like it was the Imperials. They probably sabotaged the hyperdrive before our soldiers could get them off the ship. I know it sounds wild, but when Keo has a hunch, they're usually right. Don't listen to him, it's really not that big of a deal. On Miriel, we're taught to respect and listen to the Force. Sensor switch 
I can't reach out and touch it like, well, like others could. But sometimes I just have a feeling about things. I don't like to talk about it. These days, you never know who in the galaxy is listening. Now, let's get serious, huh? When are you gonna have a premonition about the Karelian Lottery? Really? People are waiting for us to save them, and you're thinking about credits. Look, you see any numbers, just tell me, okay? They gotta be good for something. <laughs> we really should get going. A-wings go as fast as you can fly them. Their hull and shields are too light to take on capital ships, but Imperial Starfighters won't stand a chance with you in this cockpit. We have a few options to make your tie hunting more efficient. Big fan of the rapid-fire lasers and barrage rockets myself.
just in time. Systems are up. Time to fix the hyperdrive. Take out the Empire's carriers and buy us time, all right? I'm calling in Y-Wing support. They'll lead a bombing run on those carriers. Don't let any TIE fighters near them. Y-Wings are here. Vanguard, if we lose our bombers, we're done for. Take out those ties. I'm in 
Formation. Victorum, we're in position. Where are we headed? Somewhere classified. Just send you the coordinates. Got him. Punching them in now. Jumping to hyperspace in three, two, one. Punch it. Uh, what? The hyperdrive fails again. Systems now, Vanguard. 
supply on the way. You have the new jump coordinates, Vanguard? Affirmative. See you on the other side, Victor. General Sindula. Hello, Vanguard. Welcome to the Nadiri Dockyards. I'd give you a tour, but the Empire knows we're up to something now. They'll be looking for us, which means we have work to do. 